Hey everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security. Today I'm going to show you how to install your uh, GE XT wireless security systems, Alarm.com, Simon, XT or XTI, CDMA, cellular communicator uh, into the panel. Uh, before we begin, I just want to let you know it looks as if it is wired. We do have the, the transformer unplugged and as you can see, as I will open up here, the panel does not have the backup battery installed. So you want the system completely powered down. All right. Now this is how you'd be looking at it as if it was mounted on the wall. You'd see, fold down just like that. All right and you have your cellular communicator so if you're transferring from a phone line and deciding now you want to go with the uh, cellular version which is our recommendation you'll see out of the box it comes with a, uh, an antenna we already have a video on how to do this so take a look at our YouTube page make sure to subscribe you'll see inside the contents box we'll have the actual cellular communicator be careful with that and then of course your handy dandy installation uh, manual which you want to keep handy uh, another quick tip just make sure when you're opening the box you don't want to damage it just in case for whatever reason you need to replace it you want to keep all the packaging intact in so I'm going to go ahead and remove this cellular communicator the Verizon version part number 600-1048-XT-ZX-VZ. The VZ at the end is what lets you know that this is the Verizon version. We also have a video on how to install the AT&T version as well. Um, so this is your module. It's a brief description. You'll see it's got the Z-Wave antenna right there, that orange antenna. That's what that's for. All right, and you're going to see that the communicator has the mail end of the device so that's going to line up with this area right here and if you notice right down here you'll see two grooves which is where this communicator is going to slide underneath and then the male end will click right into there so all right so you're going to be sliding uh, again the male end is going to be facing the female end you're going to take this front part of the communicator you're going to slide it right underneath those tabs Make sure the Z-Wave antenna doesn't get pinched and it should just squeeze right in there. All right, once you have that mounted, you want to make sure that you get the IMEI number off of this device as well, which will be located right here. It's got five digits, then a dash, and then it's got 10 digits following that. You can also see the revision number, which will start with X followed by three digits. So this is a, a newer communicator. All right. Once you have that done and you have the IMEI number, you want to go ahead and place your panel back on. Once you have your backup battery installed, seal up the panel. And that's how you install the uh, Verizon 600-1048-XT-ZX-VZ.